Okay, guys. I have an article written on my site about Gem. Okay, so Gem is the fuel that I run in the Talon, and Gem is just an acronym for gasoline, ethanol, and methanol. And the mixture that I run has the exact same AFR as E85. So it's, uh, but the biggest question I get with Gem and the tech article that I got on the FTY Racing website is, how do you mix it? How do you make it? How can I try it? So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I do it. And I mean, use at your own risk, but I get this question constantly. So, uh, and I mean, probably weekly. Well, first thing you wanna do is you gotta get yourself um, pails and you gotta get yourself uh, fuels. So what I use here, um, these are old race fuel pails and honestly they work really well and that's why I use them because you can just reuse these. I've used some of these for like 10 years. It's not that big of a deal. The biggest thing that I found or that I feel is that in order to get a consistent mix, you wanna make sure. Okay, now that I've, okay, now that I've moved around all the race pails. Ugh. The biggest thing that I've learned is that for me and my application, I want to make sure the mixture is as consistent as possible. So if I'm making changes to my tune, I want to be able to rely on the fuel to not change. So for me, I use a mixture of three things. Um, number one, uh, the most important is probably the gasoline for me. Uh, I use the highest octane non-ethanol bearing unleaded gasoline that I can find. Um, I know there are people that I've talked to that use like premium and that's fine. I know there are people who use um, some uh, perhaps ethanol enriched uh, fuel like unleaded gasolines and that's fine too. The biggest thing is to make sure that when you're mixing this you have something that you're consistently using. So if you're just like grabbing some pump fuel and you're grabbing it from wherever. If you grab it from the same place all the time and their fuel stock's always the same, then I guess I guess you're good. Or you want to at least it needs to be close so that you know you can monitor stuff. Or if you're making changes all the time, that works too, I guess. Um, but for me personally, I use a uh, Sunoco race fuel, and it's called GTX. Uh, I'm sorry, it's called 260 GTX. Um, it is 98 octane, and as you can see right here. It is 98 octane, and um, yeah, basically when you look at their spec sheet, zero ethanol, 98 octane race fuel. Um, and that, that's simply the only thing I've used. I, like I said, I've heard of people using uh, pump gas. I've heard of people using MS-109. I've heard of people using a few other race fuels. Um, just a note, MS-109 has a bunch of MTBE in it. So, you might want to check your injector compatibility um, because if it's not compatible with MTBE or if they're not compatible with MTBE, you may find some swelling issues occur. Just a heads up. So uh, that's the gas portion. Now the next one is the ethanol portion. So for a long time, I use a 55 gallon drum of E98 from a local producer. Uh, I'm here in Michigan. There's a few producers here. I won't mention the name just because I'm not trying to like no slamming. It was a great fuel. I used it for a long time, um, but I used that a little bit earlier when I was running E85. And then when I switched to gem, a 55 gallon drum goes a long way when you're mixing it with gem. So I actually had fuel from 2015 that I was running in 2020 um, or 2021, uh, 2021. Anyway, uh, it lasted a long time. And honestly, my thought was after that, I just don't, I don't need to buy 55 gallon drums of E85 anymore or E98 anymore. So what I do now uh, is I actually run X98. So X98 is just denatured ethanol, but you can buy it in five gallon pails. Each uh, pail of gem, each five gallons of gem uses one gallon of ethanol for me in my mixture. So that basically means I can make 25 gallons of gem with five gallons of X98. So that kind of wraps it up for the ethanol. So last portion, of course, is methanol. Um, in my gem mixture, 
for a long time I ran uh, just straight methanol. So I would get local methanol from Drag Strip or, um, you know, there are a few other places local that you can pick it up. Uh, sometimes gas stations near drag strips carry methanol or near racetracks, I should say. Roundy Ron guys run methanol too, a lot of times. Um, I've also purchased 55 gallon drums of methanol and split them with friends, stuff like that. Um, and that works too. Uh, but a few years ago, I wanted to get a, a, an even larger leg up on just regular gems. So I went and I switched to M5. So M5 is, um, yeah, it smells like it's gonna kill you. So anyway, my methanol portion is M5 and it works great. And uh, actually part of the reason that I'm mixing up fuel is to go to the dyno. So I'm not gonna do back-to-back -back E85 to gem tests, but I am gonna be pushing this gem really hard. Hopefully, that's the plan. So I've got the M5 here, I've got the X98, I've got the 260 GTX. And now I'm gonna show you my ratios. This is the thing that everyone asks me about is what is the ratio of gas to ethanol and methanol. I also get a lot of questions uh, with people who are kind of confused about it. So just to reiterate, GEM has the exact same stoichiometric ratio as E85. That is 9.8 to one. So um, essentially, the way that it's mixed up, the percentage of gas offsets the percentage of ethanol and methanol to take this entire mixture, even though it's 45% methanol, and it moves, so methanol has a 6.5 uh, to one AFR. The gas and ethanol move that up so that the whole mixture, the homogeneous, homogeneous mixture, which does not separate, um, it moves it to a 9.8 to one when you have it mixed in the correct ratio. And that's, so those are the two important things. Number one, same AFR as E85, it's 9.8 to one, which means that if your car is tuned for E85, you can drop in gem, no tuning changes. You will make more power if you make some timing adjustments. And in some cases you will make more power if you rich in or lean it out. Depends, obviously, this is all tuner stuff. As far as what the ratios are, I'm gonna show it to you right now. So right here, uh, this is how I do my label. Date, always, you know how old it is. G-E-M, gas, ethanol, methanol. My mixture is 1.75 gallons of gasoline, one gallon of ethanol, and 2.25 gallons of methanol. That nets you a 9.8 to one AFR. How do I do that? I mix it by volume. And by volume, I mean, I have this three quart graduated container. And so when I'm making gem, I go through and I literally measure out, these are, these are quarts. So there's four quarts in a gallon. And so you can see here, I've got four, five, six, seven, which is 1.75 gallons. So I'm good with gasoline. My ethanol, there's four quarts, which is one gallon, and my methanol is 2.25. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna set the camera on a stand. I'm gonna go through and hopefully have like this area. This is in my garage. I'll basically uh, do a time lapse and see, just you know, give you an idea of me mixing it up and see how it, see how it's done. Okay, so as you saw in the time lapse there, um, it's not hard to mix. You just have to be careful and uh, try to not get stuff in your eye and uh, wear your safety glasses, wear some gloves and uh, wipe up your spills. And then, uh, yeah, when you're done, basically, you know, this this about it. That's what I do. And, uh, you know, it'll probably, I'll probably work to uh, like mix it around just a little bit, although, Honestly, in the trailer on the way to the racetrack, it gets mixed up just fine. It'll be no big deal. So I might roll it around a little bit, but not a big deal. I've got uh, 10, 10 gallons of gem here now. And uh, 
I'm set to go for a little bit. So that's how you make gem. Remember, um, oh, some other things. I use a uh, three quart graduated container because the two quart, I, I have a two quart, but I don't use it because if you fill it up that high, you tend to spill a bit more. Um, the other thing that I make sure to use, which, you know, it, is your, to your discretion, use whatever you want, right? But I use a, um, that, that funnel you saw in there, it is, it's got a steel mesh in it, so it, it is a filtered funnel. And I think that that just gives me a little more peace of mind to make sure I'm not getting trash in my fuel, um, within reason, obviously. So uh, yeah, just some tips for you. Hopefully that helps you. And now all the people who are asking me about it, I'm just gonna send them to this video. So take it easy, guys. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.